<laughs> hey, what's up all you horror dorks, all you horror fans, freaks, geeks, nerds, sweep turds, basement dwellers, and of course all you mouth breathers out there, what is up? I'm your host, Josh James, and welcome to the first ever review on the R-Rated show. And, uh, well, I was just cruising by my local dollar store the other day, like I do a couple times a week, just to see what's in the DVD and Blu-ray bin. And, you know, you never know, you might find something you kind of like. And, and lo and behold, I found this gem. Scooby-Doo and Kiss, Rock and Roll Mystery Original Movie. Now, I don't know why they had to put original in the title, because I would just assume that it's an original movie, but, uh, apparently, I don't know, maybe they've made other Kiss, uh, and Scooby-Doo movies, but, um... Uh, I'm a mediocre uh, Scooby-Doo fan. I did like it a lot as a kid growing up. Uh, 80s incarnation of Scooby-Doo. Casey Kasem era. And then I'm a huge Kiss fan, of course. Love all their stuff. And I've seen them twice this year. Um, Chicago and Prudential Center. Uh, really great band. Uh, classic legacy band. And, uh, well, I just saw this for a buck. I couldn't resist taking a look at it today. So I picked it up. Let's unshrink wrap this mofo. Throw it in the DVD player and see what we come up with. All right? say this ain't that bad. I mean, quality's pretty good. Animation, it's not bad. Very colorful. I kind of feel like Kiss and Scooby-Doo are a match made in heaven. They, they seem to go really well together. Everybody knows Scooby-Doo and like Glo the Harlem Globetrotters and stuff like that. Your tongue must be this long to ride this ride. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny, man. It's really great that uh, they got, you know, the guys from the band to come on and do the voices for this. It's cool. It's cool. I really like it. This is classic Scooby-Doo. The kiss designs are cool. Scooby-Doo and Kiss Rock and Roll Mystery. <laughs> okay, so I'm back and I just watched the uh, Scooby-Doo and the Kiss Rock and Roll Mystery original movie. I have to say, that this was made in 2015, not that long ago, four years ago. This is really good. I was really surprised. The, uh, well, first of all, the art direction was really incredible in this. I mean, it was really, really creative. Um, they took plenty of Scooby-Doo and plenty of the Kiss mytho uh, mythology and blended it together. But it, there was nothing lazy about this movie at all. It was our and, uh... I don't know, an hour and like 15 minutes or something. So it was not too long, uh, but I will say that um, they really outdid themselves. They added a lot of like um, Marvel Comics elements into it. Um, there was a lot of Jack Kirby. Uh, there's a lot of Marvel style, comic book style stuff in this. And I'm not talking about the, the modern Marvel movies. I'm talking about the classic Golden Age comics. Um, there's a lot of that style in the artwork, uh, in the backgrounds and, and design of characters, and even in the uh, the couple of villains that are in the movie. So I was like really shocked. Like when they first start the movie out, I was like, "This is just going to be a play on the um, the Phantom of the Park, which is that terrible Kiss movie that you know we all kind of love because it's charming for its time." But you know, I thought this is okay. This could be a small scale thing, but they really made a, a pretty awesome movie. Uh, animated movie out of uh, some really great ideas here. 
And, uh, and one of the things that really surprised me was that it was really funny. Like, I was laughing pretty regularly through the whole movie. Like, from start to finish, there was a lot of really good uh, Scooby-Doo slash Kiss gags in the movie. So, I was... For a dollar, I was like totally surprised at how really entertaining this was. Like, if you're a Scooby-Doo fan or a Kiss fan, or you just you want something to throw on around Halloween, like this, I would highly recommend this. Like, I don't, I feel like I stole this DVD. This is a really good animated movie. Like, it, it was it was really thoughtful. Like, it was some creativity and some. And some uh, some good writing that went into this, so I was really surprised. Had Penny Marshall, who did The Elder, and of course that's a play off uh, uh, music for The Elder, like which is like probably one of their worst albums. This is a really thoughtful, really good dollar buy. If you're in the dollar store and you see this, buy it. What a steal! I mean, the only thing that would have been could have been better is if I got it on Blu-ray for a dollar. But and I really would like to know what the budget was on this because holy shit. I mean, it, they really, they did not skimp at all. It was really good. The animation was great. The art direction was great. It was creative. The writing was really good. The voice acting was all really good. If you're a KISS fan, definitely check this out. If you're an animation fan, check it out. They have all kinds of references and callbacks. Um, really funny jokes. So I can't do anything but recommend this. I mean, f fucking five stars all the way. This was really cool. Wow, I was not expecting that at all. I was expecting it to be just kind of like a, you know, like a shitty sort of 30, 45 minute cheap ass movie. I just kind of bought it because I like Kiss, but uh, yeah. I don't really know how much more I can gush over this thing, but uh, check out Scooby-Doo and Kiss Rock and Roll Mystery. And this thing is so trippy. It's so much fun. Highly recommend it. All right, guys. Well, there you go. There's a new review for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications so you know when new content drops. I'll be coming out with a new review for you very soon. And as I always like to say when I end the show, stay awesome and stay R-rated. Cheers.